Crop changeover can be time consuming. John Deere planters have been designed to make the crop changeover quick and easy, getting you back into the field as quickly as possible. After watching this video, you will adjust and verify the correct hub height when changing bowls, adjust and verify the correct double eliminator setting when changing crops, change the agitator strip for the correct crop, and identify the correct settings are loaded on the display. In this example, the operator is changing over from corn to soybeans. Once the soybean bowl is in place, we need to verify the correct hub height. For example, a loose seed bowl will not maintain contact with the wear pads when rotating. If this is the case, pull the pin, reset one to two spots, and check again. Next we want to verify that the double eliminator is set correctly for the crop being changed to. In this case, we will adjust to the lower position for soybeans. The knockout wheel ensures that the seed is fully released from the seed cell and is delivered to the brush belt delivery system. Check the operation of the knockout wheel by rotating the wheel and check the points for wear. Reinstall the knockout wheel and verify by clicking into position. Also remember, do not run the meter without the bowl installed as this can cause premature wear on the knockout wheel by the brush belt. In this example, we are changing over from corn to soybeans. So in this case, we also need to change out the agitator strip as well. Reference the operator's manual under meter settings for the recommended agitator strip based on crop. To release the strip, simply squeeze the tabs on the back of the meter and pull off the strip. Reinstall the new strip by lining up the tabs on the strip with the holes and click into place. We also need to clean out the planter or previous seed when switching over. On CCS equipped planters, open the tank clean out door and place a bucket or other container under the door to catch the remaining seed from the tank. Then repeat the process for the other clean out doors. To purge CCS hoses with the planter in the raised position, install service locks and place the frame SEV in down detent. Press the CCS blower switch to start the blower. Turn the flow control knob counterclockwise to increase blower speed in order to fully purge the hoses. The final step in cleanout is removing seed from the meter. Use the catch tray provided. Place the tray below the bowl and remove to catch the remaining seed. The last check the operator needs before planning is to verify on the display that the correct seed disc is selected. Also, if the operator is running a split row planter, they need to make sure the correct number of rows are enabled. Lastly, verify rates are loaded in the system. Once crop population rates are loaded, the system will store the desired rate for each crop.